Welcome to our brand new channel Nefangled Mind. Today we are going to create a 3D sphere using Adobe Illustrator. Without any further ado let's get started. Step 1. Setting up the document. Open up your Adobe Illustrator CC on your system. Click on Create New Icon. You can select any kind of dimensions from the presets. Now we are going with custom dimensions. Set width to 2000 pixels and height to 2000 pixels. Go to Advanced and set the color mode to RGB raster effects into High, Preview Mode Default. If you want more settings you can click on the More Settings button. Rename the document as per your interest. Now click on the Create button. Step 2. Arrange the environment as per your convenience. Click on Window, Align, Appearance, Symbols, Gradient, and arrange them accordingly. Now select Rectangle tool and click on the document and set the dimensions to 2000 and 2000. Arrange the rectangle to center of the artboard. And rename the layer to Background in Layers panel. Now in Properties select Stroke to None and Fill to Gradient. Go to Gradient tab and select the Start and End colors. Set the gradient as radial and edit the gradient as per your choice. For some precise adjustments use rulers. Lock the background layer and create a new layer named Artwork. Step 3. Creating the 3D Sphere. Right-click the Rectangle tool and select Ellipse tool. Hold Shift and drag the cursor on the artboard. Change the fill color to white. Align the circle to the center of the artboard. Now click on the Direct Selection tool and select the right point of the ellipse. Hit Backspace on the keyboard to remove the anchor point. Now select the remaining corner points and go to Object Panel, Join. This makes a perfect semicircle. Before we continue the rest of the tutorial, please like, share and subscribe our channel for more exciting stuff. Next select the semicircle and go to Effect, 3D, Revolve. 3D Revolve panel gets opened. Check the preview box to view the live changes. Oops we are not looking for that. Don't panic we shall fix that. Change from left edge to right edge. Hooray. We fixed it. Ok let's continue further process. Change the surface to plastic shading. Click on more options to view extra settings. Change the blend steps to 100. Click on OK. We are done with the creation of 3D sphere. Now let's add some pattern onto the sphere. Here we got some random patterns to place. You are free to use any pattern or texture. Anything works on this. Move the patterns into a new layer and rename it to Sample Patterns. If you are unable to find the Symbols panel, go to Window and click Symbols. Select any pattern and open the Symbols panel. Drag the pattern into the panel and rename the pattern and set Export Type to Graphic. Same for the second pattern too. You can hide the patterns layer or you can delete them. Select the sphere and go to Appearance panel and click 3D Revolve. Click on Map Art. A new window opens. From the Symbols drop-down menu, select your pattern or texture. Resize the graphic on the graph. 
And also make sure to check the shade artwork box and hit OK. You can even change the angle of the 3D sphere by adjusting the position in 3D revolve panel. Now create a new layer and select ellipse tool and draw a shape as shown. This shape is for shadow. Apply gradient fill to it and no stroke. Edit the gradient as shown. And at the last apply a Gaussian blur to it. Send the shadow layer back to the artwork layer. Wow we have successfully created a 3D sphere. You can experiment with many different patterns or textures. Hope you had a great fun. Please don't forget to like and share this video. And subscribe to our channel and bang that bell button for notifications from our channel. That's all for today. Stay tuned to our channel. Always keep creating, get inspired and repeat it. See you again in our next video.